All right, we got Brandon today, and Brandon is getting a fade. He showed me a couple pictures. You don't want to take nothing off the top, right? You want more like a textured look? Okay, and then you're doing your beard. Any Anything particular you want for your beard? No? Just kind of clean it up how it is already? All right, bro. The fade that you showed me had the C-cup still. You want to keep the C-cup? All right, bro. Let's do it. What's going on guys how's everybody doing thank you guys for checking out another video let's get to it so i consider this a difficult canvas i know there's gonna be some people that get on this video i'm like nah what are you talking about chris everything is everything is uh difficult to you and um the reason why i say is just look how I'm, when i'm cutting this number three guard just look at his hair look how you can see the scalp with a number three guard Look at how the hair is growing in so many different directions. Look at how below where you can see through the hair. See where I'm cutting right now, how you can see through the hair? Below that, you can't see through the hair. It's, it's, it's dark. It stays dark. But as you go up closer to the top of his head, you can see through the scalp. And so I would consider this a challenge because... I want it to look gradient and usually with a number three it's going to look gradient but it doesn't matter if I use a number four or a number three um, you're gonna be able to see through it and so we have to figure out how we can make this as gradient as possible considering what we have to work with and so um, I'm definitely gonna be gauging this as I go I'm definitely gonna have to detail a bunch um, but we're gonna trust the system and um and 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 knock this out so we start with a number three and now we faded it down to like a number two i want my the canvas i want the bait the 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 sides of his head to, to be at a number two and then we'll start our fade process so from the top we faded down to a number two essentially now that we've brought everything down to a number two and look at his hair guys we're gonna bald them out And now the reason why I'm starting so low is because um, number one, the picture that he showed me, it drops, it drops a little bit in the back and towards the C cup, but because also I'm going to need some space to create a transition and a space to be space enough to be able to, you know, gauge the gradients. So that's why, that's why I, I started pretty low. All right, and we're gonna start with our blade all the way open to, to start our next guideline. And this creates a section. This section is, is uh, the blade open. Now we're creating our next section with the number one guard all the way open. And we're gonna do this all the way around the head. So blade open, next section is number one open. All right, and so now that we have our sections, we can go ahead and start to blend out each section. So starting off with the clipper all the way closed, opening it little by little until the first section that we're working with is blended. As you can see, now it's fairly blended. When it looks good, we'll move on to the next section. And now the next section is the one open section. We're gonna start with our number one guard. Right beneath that number one guard, we're gonna go ahead and, and get the half guard. And you can see it, it has blended both sections together. I, I took the half guard off and I went back to the blade open just to clean up any little um, any demarcations that might still be there. Now the next guard we're going to use is the one and a half guard because remember we started with a number two on the sides. 
So we're using the one and a half guard all the way open and closing it little by little until this last guideline is blended out. You, you, you'll probably have to hop back to that one guard open, just clean it up a bit, a, a bit more. Um, as you can see, And we've gone through the system on one side, and now we're gonna go through the system on the rest of him, rest of his head. Now, when I say this is a difficult canvas, the reason why I say that is it's not difficult to fade it. It's difficult to get it to that Instagram, that that insane blurry sharp lines, perfect shape. Like it's it's hard to get it to that point. It's not hard to fade his hair or to cut his hair again but there are people who you can get to that instagram ready looking cut a lot easier than others and i think that a lot of people are confusing the, confusing that because a lot of times people be like that's not an easy cut i do those cuts all day and i look at the and then i look at your instagram page and the cuts you talking about don't look like instagram cuts i'm talking about <laughs> you know what i mean like no doc but like i'm trying to i'm talking about go look at s craft blends pictures go look at somebody like like a los cut like a mark mark the barber like uh i don't know you guys can throw out some names uh, you guys know what i'm talking about but like when you look at their cuts you're like damn cuts are crazy but nobody's really putting really difficult canvases on instagram because you can't the potential of an elite level instagram photograph you guys get what i'm saying i'm done ranting Right, this is the last step, that one and a half guard, like we did on the other side, and closing it little by little. Right, and now we're gonna bring everything to the back and uh, make sure that the back looks good. Following the same steps, we still have subtle guidelines there that we can follow, and uh, we just wanna make sure that the sides flow nicely into the back. Now there are certain areas that look like there's dark spots. Um, that's just, it looks like he has like maybe like dry skin on his scalp, um, and underneath the hair can make it look darker than it really is because because of that um so you know sometimes i think that barbers will will look at that and think that it's a dark spot and overwork themselves there's only so much we can do with barbers right All right, and just like any any cut, man, I like to, to make sure we get it to the shaver length. And if anything happens where you leave a line, you can just follow it up with the uh, trimmers. The whole time I was cutting his hair, I'm thinking, man, I can't wait to style the top because I think that that's what's going to really bring it all together. All right, so with his beard, um, it was brought down lower than he wanted you could tell he was trying to grow it back out so i asked him if he'd be all right with me fading the beard in a bit because he didn't want to cut too much length um so i tried to keep as much length as possible really we kept mo 
mostly all of it. Um, and then I just try to blend in the, the beard a little bit into the new growth that's coming in. And then we're gonna clean it up. Right now we're cleaning up the C cup, leaving it fairly natural. You know, I felt like I could get a decent line on him without getting too cosmetic. So that's what we went with. And now we're just gonna kind of clean up the top of the beard, really just following the line he already had there. Now with the with the the fringe here the his hairline he didn't want a sharp line I asked him he just wanted it to be symmetrical and he wanted he wanted it textured he wanted the top textured as well so you know I'm always consulting my clients I'm always checking um, and if there's any ideas or whatever I'll you know I'll, I'll ask them or whatever but in this case I only lined up on his hairline the vertical bar and just that corner just to add some symmetry and then you'll see later on I'll clean it all up with some shears or scissors let me know what you guys thought about blending the beard in was that a good call or would y'all have just left it alone just lined it up all right same thing here try to try to keep it natural all right and this is what i was talking about i'm just doing the corners there just to make sure it's symmetrical on both sides because some sides could be nat naturally lower than than the other and if, it, if we're talking about a fringe we might as well make it symmetrical all right using 245 shave gel just for a more comfortable uh, shave around, the, especially in the mustache area. If you guys notice, I'm only focusing on the line when I'm dry shaving like this, and then I'll do the bulk of it with a foil shaver. I just feel like it's more comfortable. Um, it definitely is for me. All right, so now I'm just using a razor to cut some uh, texture into the hair, and then I will do some much more defined texture um, with my actual scissors and shears. Okay, we're gonna put some uh, 245 Pure Powder. This is a texturizing and volumizing powder to style the hair. And then we're gonna use 245 No Drip with the Beam Team XL to enhance the cut. And then this is what I was talking about with the, with the scissors or the shears. Um, I was cleaning up the, the hairline. It still has that textured crop look um, whilst, while having some symmetry. And then he wanted his eyebrows done. So I used 2.5 shave gel just to make it a comfortable. He's, he's got some, some pretty thick eyebrows so that the shave gel was a must in my opinion to make it comfortable. Guys, this is the before. Now look at the after. Hey man, I appreciate you guys. Thank you, like always, for watching another video. Please do smash the like button if you're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, because we drop in content every single day. And I, the, sub, the subscribe button, man, just makes me feel good. Makes, makes me feel good. You know, it, it makes you feel like, you know, hard work is paying off. So subscribe, guys. Love y'all.